Hey everybody, welcome back to PvP Dinner Theater. I'm Hill House, and like my main, I'm going to keep this short and to the point. So as promised, here is your basic Jorbjorn guide. Alright guys, so let's go over the basic abilities you have with the Hero Torbjorn. First, you have your Rivet Gun. Uh, you use your left and your right trigger to use this weapon. Uh, your right trigger is more of a molten ball of steel that you shoot in a trajectory at your enemy. Your left trigger is a shotgun blast to the face when they get in close. It's very powerful, very useful. Next, you have your Forge Hammer. This is used to build, upgrade, and repair your turrets. Uh, it's very important to know when and how to use that and also to be close enough to use it so you can repair your turret at any time. Next is your ultimate, which is your molten core. You can wipe an entire team with your turret and your torbjorn if you time this right and you aim right. Uh, it's very, very useful and very powerful. And if you time it with Orisa's uh, ultimate, it can be extremely dangerous. Next, you're able to create armor packs by collecting scrap from your dead enemies. Get as much armor as you can out on the floor for your teammates. All right, guys, so here we are in Nimbani. Um, I've already placed my turret at the objective, and I'm going to get to that in a minute, but what I like to do is get up here and see where the enemy's coming from. Uh, looks like they're flanking in the right. They're coming up from the front pretty hard. I'm going to run back. Okay, we've got Orisa's shield. I'm protected. Another one. Nice. Nice shield. Lucio's coming up from the front. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lob out some molten steel out there and see if I can get at least some sort of damage to him. Uh, Dark Gunner, I'm going to join your party here in a minute. He's a friend of mine and a subscriber. If you ever get a plan, chance to uh, play with Dark Gunner, he plays a mean jump rat. Uh, you, you're going to love playing with him. All right, so I got Hanzo and Orisa. Uh, they're on the point, and let's go ahead and talk about turret placement then, because uh, that's going to come into play here. I have set my turret up at the rear left corner of this objective. Um, there are several different places in every map where you can set up your turrets. It creates some nasty little choke points for your enemies. Uh, where I've set mine up, it gives me a great line of sight to my left, my right, above me, behind me, etc. And in front of me, of course. And I get an all-around line of sight to where I can take out enemies that are trying to flank us, come in from the top, the front, the rear, whatever. And um, it's just something I like to do. What I do is I take a look at my environment. Um, I know this map pretty well, so I feel comfortable where I've placed it. However, you always want to take a look at your environment because it could be in a completely different spot the next game that you place your turret and it's the most effective for you. So it's really up to you. If it doesn't work in one spot and that turret gets wasted, go to another spot, set it up. Just look at what you've got available to you. So basically my turret's been destroyed. Um, however, I am gonna go ahead and set that up here uh, shortly. I just wanna make sure we've got no more enemies coming up from the front. And that's another thing What's up there, Sombra. Boom, and that's a perfect that's a perfect segue into my next point. Is Torbjorn only a defensive character? I don't think so. I'm going to pop my moment here because it looked like the whole team was coming up. Nope. One guy. So basically I've wasted it. So anyway, I digress uh, back to whether Torbjorn is only a defensive character or can he be played on offense? I hear a lot of arguments saying that he's only defensive, that you're a dick if you play him on offense, whatever. Me, I only play him on defense. However, if you can play Torbjorn on offense, do it. I'm not going to be mad at you. You get us that victory, I'm down for that. If you're extremely skilled at Torbjorn, then yes, you can play him on offense. So I'm going to reset up my turret. This is the same spot I had it before. Now I've upgraded it to a level 2 using my Forge Hammer. And here they come. Boom. Jump rats down. Mercy's going to res him. It took out Mercy. Is down there with her shield, took out Junkrat's rib tire. Here come the dragons, run to the left. Now my turret is still sitting up there. Up, oh, it's getting taken down. There's Sombra. Oh, she just teleported out. Now they're taking Orisa to my right, so I'm going to reset up my turret. And I'm going to give them some support, even though it's single fire. See, double, triple kill. There we go. So that turret is extremely effective. You trust your team to do their job and if you need to set your turret up again just set it up so now I'm collecting some scrap because I want to start building some armor when it's safe you get down there you collect all the scrap to mercy out again now we're laying out some armor for my teammates armor uptime is extremely important you are also a support hero so you want to get that armor out you want to set up your turret you want to do your damage and you want to get armor out for your team that's going to keep your deaths down to a minimum 
As you can see, Arissa went and set up her ultimate. And if I get the chance, I'd like to combine it with mine. Because Arissa's ultimate gives you a ton more power. And you can do a lot of damage. Okay, so we're going to save it. Got 60 seconds anyway. Let's do it. Go. So as you can see, the health of your turret goes way up, your health goes way up, your rapid firing, your gone mercy. Looks like she rezzed uh, Reinhardt again. We're going to take him out, though. Bye-bye. Another dragon, run to the right. There's a Sombra. Boom, you're dead. Nope, she zapped out. Damn. Okay, so my turret's still up. I've set out some more armor. We are just wiping their team out right now. I think we've created, created a nasty little choke point for these guys. And uh, somebody's on the point. Got him. Got her. Rip tire done. 25 player kill streak. Oh, we got somebody above. They're taking out my. Oh, they took out my turret. That's okay. Didn't even need it again. So as you can see, I was able to place my turrets effectively and quickly. I was able to repair them when needed. I was able to throw out the armor to support my team, and we were able to create a choke point. And I got play of the game. So that's you gotta love that part. Okay, so this is where I set up my second turret. I think it's where I got my triple kill. Let's see. Yes, it is. Got a risk to the right. Took her out. Yep. So anyway, guys, that's what it's all about. Turret placement. Get armor out there. Make sure you're using your weapon offensively if you need to. Got 25 kill streak, 25 eliminations. Not too bad for a guide. So, uh, guys, I hope you liked the video. Give me a like. Uh, I want to try to get uh, 30 likes on this video if possible. And uh, subscribe, comment if you want to. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Got four gold medals, 25 and 0, 22% weapon accuracy. So not a bad game at all. Anyway, guys, from PvP Dinner Theater, this is Hill House. Good game, good vibes, and I'll talk to you later.